Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3.5. Uh, so in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do like we done in the last one, but we that's going to be for the Google part. So uh, we did Facebook, now uh, we're going to do um, Google. So that's going to be pretty familiar. So right now, if we look at, at the app we have done, we have created this, uh, this uh, Facebook API and stuff like that. So we're going to try to follow the same pattern for the Google one. So if you go inside Chrome, uh, go to consoledeveloper.google.com. After that, uh, you should be able to here click on this uh, star uh, arrow and uh, click on the button right where you're going to say new project, put the name, whatever you want. After that, just click on your project and you're going to go to the same place as me. I don't show you this because I have a lot of uh, API name and I don't want to, to mess up with stuff. After that here, we're going to cl click on credential. Inside the credential, we're going to click on OAuth client ID. Here to create an OAuth client ID, you must first, you must first set a product name of, of, on the consent screen. So you're going to click on that. Here you put whatever email address you have, you want product name to show to the user. I'm gonna say it's install. So this is the name of the application. On page URL, we don't have it yet. Maybe we're gonna build one. A product logo, logo URL, we don't have one yet. Privacy policy, we don't need that until we deploy. And term or service, that's it. So we're gonna click save. We're gonna start with the iOS part first. So here I'm gonna change the name to be, let's put it bigger for you, dev. For the bundle ID, for the expo part, I'm going to show you again that to do this in Vanilla JavaScript. For the um, iOS part, that's going to be host.x.exponent. After that, you can click create. After that, here you're going to have a client ID. Just click on this icon that's going to be copy, that's going to copy this one. Go inside your Facebook, that, uh, at the JSON on Facebook, and now here, what we're going to do. It's expo let us having a field called extra where we can put whatever we want. Inside this one, I'm going to call something called Google um, App ID because we need one for iOS and we're going to need one for Android also. So for Android, we can just create it here. One thing I forget in the last one, it's we can add this value right there if you want. Facebook display name and you can just put in store. Go back in Google, like that, we have done the iOS one. So that, create credential again. OAuth client ID, Android. I'm going to call that Android Dev. Uh, okay. And now, uh, Expo asks us to run this command to uh, the terminal. So inside your terminal, just paste this command, and that's going to give you some beautiful uh, letter and number. Go back to Chrome, paste that there, and for the package name, you just need to paste the same thing, host ex, eps, exponent, <laughs> exp exponent, and now click create. That's going to give you another ID. You take that, you paste that right there. So now we have both uh, iOS and Android ID. So now what we can do is start a project because uh, if if your project is already started, make sure to stop it because you want Expo to get the new uh, the new uh, stuff from the app.json. So now, if everything is working, I should be able to rerun my app without any crash. Just for testing that, we can just click on continue with Facebook, so it looks like it worked. But now we want to do this Google Press. So what I'm going to do, and so I'm going to create a new file called Google API.js. This one going to look a lot like, uh, not Google API, Google. Yeah. So it's going to look like a lot the one we've seen in the last video. We're going to import two files from Expo. Google and constant. We're going to create a variable called scope. So Google permission name its scope uh, profile and email not scope with a d but scope with a s we're going to create a function called login async 
really I'm really bad in typing this morning like that try catch if we have an error we return a promise that reject error but here what we can do is get the result from Google that logging oops log, log Ging async. Here we need to pass an object. First thing we can pass it's Android client ID. How we get that? Constant that manifests like yes uh, the the video extra. So the extra stuff I have in my uh, uh, app that JSON. Google app ID. The field we have created. So if you really don't follow what I do, it's extra Google app ID iOS Android. So here that's gonna be Android. After that we're gonna add iOS client constant the manifest dot extra dot Google app ID dot iOS and we just pass the scope right there like that. Here we check if the result that type equal equal success. If success, we're gonna return a promise that resolve result that access token. Else we're gonna return a promise that reject. We say just no success. You can do whatever else you want, but this is how I'm gonna do this for this one here. Now we can just paste this stuff inside the Google Press. Don't forget to put anything here because if not, uh, I'll wait, it's a reserve word, so that's gonna crash. And now here, change that to be, we cannot do this yet because I forget to do this. Export const Google API equal and now you put your function logging async. Go back here. Now if you do Google API, click enter, that should auto import this stuff. Now should work. For me, I'm gonna have again my um, React Native Debugger working. So you see if I refresh, it still work. And now in this one, I'm gonna click continue with Google. After that, expo one to use google.com uh, to sign in, click continue. So now that's gonna open, uh, this the windows you maybe because the first time you're gonna need to put your stuff and i'm gonna click on mine that's it i get a token after i have tests in the android and all was working so just let me know if that don't work in android i may be gonna just do a, a really quick video if a lot of people say they have problem but after this this for mine and everything was working so yeah i mean it's uh, it's pretty um I mean, we don't have a lot, but you see, so here, uh, when I click on Facebook, I click X, we get a new success because the, the type become uh, kind of the cancel. And if we click cancel here, we get Google signing error. So this is the error we receive uh, right there. And the thing I pen, it's Facebook, we return promise reject, yeah. So the cancel of uh, Google don't work the same as the cancel of Facebook, but at least e we don't get the token like uh, this is what we want. We want to make sure that if the user don't uh, finish the process, we don't get a token. So I hope you enjoyed this video of today, this part number uh, three. Let me know in the comment, any question, and we're going to talk in the next one tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.